Crystal's method. Okay, this is for Christopher Blackburn. Um, the card reading for you when I pulled for today, um, which is Tuesday. The Six of Swords, transition, mental, mental healing, retreat, support, moving, travel over water. When the card appears, you are moving away, planning to move away from a psychological pain or a confusion. This could mean that you are physically moving away from something destructive, such as ending an abusive relationship or moving away from friends who enable abusive behavior. You may be going away on a trip, especially over water, to gain a new perspective on a difficult situation. The Six of Swords could also mean that you are gaining psychological distance from trouble by exploring your subconscious or gaining distance from the situation to gain a wider perspective. It's time for transition. A change is a change is often difficult, but once you make once you make it to the other side, um, however, you'll feel a great relief in thinking of what you left behind. And that's Crystal's method. Please make sure you let me know um, how that worked for you. The next one I'm doing is for Gary Allen. Crystal's method. All right, Gary Allen. I've pulled the Nine of Swords. Worry, anxiety, insomnia, repressed thoughts. When the card shows up in a reading, it is likely that you are being plagued by worry, anxiety, or fear. You may be having nightmares or trouble sleeping because all the thoughts racing through your mind. You may be feeling ill or worried about your health. Sometimes when we don't deal with the situation in the light of day, it will haunt us by night. Worrying is pointless unless it drives you to do something about the troublesome situation. The card advises us to start confronting our worries and fears. Start taking steps to solve your problems. Talk to someone about what's on your mind. Write in a journal. Start taking better care of your health. Do something. You are near the end of your mental ordeal. And if you start facing it, you can continue to ignore your doubts and fears. They'll continue to haunt it. Haunt it. But if you face the adversity and have faith, then you'll have a great perspective. And then Sean Rivers. Chris on that day. Six of Wands. Sean Rivers. Um, difficulty in leadership. Corrupt corruption, arrogance, lack of recognition. Others look up to you and your confidence supports and motivates them today. So enjoy their admiration while at the same time remembering you've earned it through your good actions and attitudes so keep it up. The Six of Wands reversed often indicates some sort of difficulty in a leadership role. It may be that a member of your team is not doing their share of work or has betrayed the team in some way and you, as the leader, have the task of dealing with this person. The card could also appear when your success and recognitions have inflated your ego. You may have lost sight of the original purpose of your project. So instead, focus on increased fame and recognition. Um, it could be a case that, along with increased recognition for your work, comes increased criticism. Try to take what is what is useful from others' feedback without getting too shaken up over negative words. You may be feeling frustrated because you're not getting recognition for your success, but keep in mind it's not others' opinions that matters as much as your personal growth. Preparations for celebrations such as graduation and or a victory supper may be, become stressful and unpleasant. The Six of Wands may also appear reversed when someone is in a position of leadership in an unethical and corrupt ways. Um, being that I don't personally have um, knowledge on a personal level, I can't really decipher things down. I can just leave it in the hands of the universe and shuffle on it and go on with it. Um, to get more specific, please inbox me um, and we can take it from there. And I'll do Bo Perry. Bo Perry, Crystal Method.
and for you, mister, I have pulled judgment. Rite of passage, maturing, renewing, transition. Judgment is a card of drastic change, release, and renew. Your current phase of life is coming to an end, and now it's time to look back objectively at what has come before. In which ways did you succeed, and where did you fail? What big lessons have you learned? Life cannot stay as it is, and change is unavoidable. You will benefit now by being accountable for your choices and behavior. So be honest with yourself. Tune into your higher calling and learn where to go next and pay attention to the big ideas that you have now because they're not impossible dreams. Amen. I like that one. And I'll go ahead and do Christopher Blackburn. Again, inbox me. Please make sure you comment and let me know. Um... Christopher Blackburn, Four of Cups. Withdrawal, indifference, dissatisfaction, boredom, daydreaming. The card indicates a withdrawal from an emotional situation, and it could be an involuntary withdrawal, such as taking time out to contemplate and meditate on your emotions, or an involuntary withdrawal, such as finding yourself tired of a situation and lacking the emotional resources to proceed. The key to this card is to remember that the answers and inspiration you need to go on are available to you. So be sure that you do not become so absorbed in apathy that you do not see the emotional opportunities that are available to you. If you have taken time out to contemplate a situation, pay close attention to your dreams and the subtle signs around you, your confirmations, your echoes. Sometimes there is a need to withdraw and the Four of Cups may be advising you to do just that. The warning here is not to get stuck and take the time you need to rest and contemplate what has come before but it also use the time to seek inspiration so you can so you can continue forward crystals method um i believe it's the 19th of may or 18th it's tuesday have a blessed day i hope this finds you in good health and spirits